Ready for medical career growth? Yes, you are in the right place. Hello, this is Dr. Neema Bish, BDS by degree and a pharma professional. As a founder of Career in Pharma, our mission is to guide medical professional towards remarkable success in the pharma industry. With a track record of over 700 plus students, trained and placed into various premier pharma companies, we are here to elevate your journey. Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to Career in Pharma. Now in today's video we are going to talk about METRA and WHODD and the difference between these two coding dictionaries. Although these two are entirely different entities, there is no correlation between these two coding dictionaries. But usually in interview, the interviewer may ask you the difference between METRA and WHODD just to confuse you. Otherwise, there is no uh, way we can, uh, you know, compare them. There is no way we can differentiate between them because these are totally different entities. But in this video today, I am going to talk about simultaneously what is METRA, what is WHODD. Yes, and also this was the most common query from our viewers, listener and audience. So let's begin with this video. Now, first of all, what is METRA? First of all, what is METRA and WHODD? These are the coding dictionaries which is used inside pharmacovigilance. Yes, inside clinical research. Even in clinical data management, this is in use for you know coding different things now what is medra so the full form of medra is medical dictionary for regulatory activities and what is the full form of whodd it is world health organization drug dictionary so as the name is suggesting whodd is a drug dictionary so whodd is used to code drug only drug please remember this but medra is used is in use to code other than drug okay what things we code with the help of metra i am going to tell you in the coming points now point number two is metra helps in so what all things we code with the help of metra metra helps in coding of adverse events medical history surgical history any concurrent illness any laboratory data all these things we code with the help of metra yes so if anyone asks you an interview what we code with the help of METRA? So you have to tell we, we can code adverse events, the adverse event or the side effects the patient is complaining in the report in the ICSR, medical history of that patient, surgical history of that patient, concurrent illness and laboratory data. While WHODD is to code drug. Now in that also there is a catch. So WHO drug dictionary is to code non-company drug. Please remember this non-company. Now, what does it mean company and non-company drug? See, company drug means for whatever company you are working, for whatever client you are working, let's say you are working for Johnson & Johnson, okay? Maybe you are working in some CRO and your client is Johnson & Johnson. Maybe you are working directly in Johnson & Johnson. That is a pharmaceutical company, we all know, right? So, whenever you code any drug, which is, which is a Johnson & Johnson product, then we call it as a company drug because you are working for Johnson & Johnson directly or you know on the behalf of CRO then in that case if you are getting any ICSR any complaint where there is a uh, you know description of uh, company drug because of company drug something is happening then there is a different coding dictionaries for those companies drug that usually we co call it as CPD that is company product dictionary so the company your database will be having the entire list of that company product dictionary company product from that you have to go to the coding but let's say in that report uh, there is some description of any drug which is not johnson and johnson product okay maybe some uh, concomitant medication the patient is taking maybe the patient took some other drug other than johnson and johnson that non-company drug you have to code with the help of whod so now I, I hope you are clear on what all things we code with the help of METRA and what all things we code with the help of WHODD. Point number three is these dictionaries don't have any interconnection which I already mentioned. Okay, say so there is no, no need of uh, 
differentiating these two dictionaries there is no need of comparison but if interviewer is confusing you asking you then you can give uh, this points so these dictionaries don't have any interconnections and they are in use to code different things inside safety database now point number 4 is metra is a subscription based product of now someone with sir, the question uh, interview question might be uh, who gave metra whose product is metra similarly for who dd i already told you it's a world health organization drug dictionary given by who metra is a subscription based product so whenever any client of yours any company where you are working what they do they do take subscription of metra and they make it accessible for you and from that metra you can code the various things which we can code with the help of metra so it is a subscription based product of what which body it is a product of international council for harmonization of technical requirements that is ich okay the same ich which we use in ich gcp the same ich the same international council for harmonizations is uh, has given metra so I, metra is a product of ich yes so metra is a clinically validated it's a clinically validated dictionary and is used internationally acceptable universally so it is a clinically validated international medical terminology dictionary used by now who is using so when you are in a company you are using you are employed so in short i would say cro's are using pharma companies are using as it is a universal dictionary universally accepted so regulatory authorities are also using biopharmaceutical industries using to, for their drug regulatory process yes for clinical research phases uh, clinical trial sites are using Uh, CROs are using principal investigators are using they all are using this metra dictionary which is universally accepted yes even in post marketing surveillance study that is pharmacovigilance itself there there is a huge wide use of metra so it is a metra dictionary which is very wide in use similarly who dd is also universally accepted universally accepted and is is in use everywhere yes so who drug dictionary also is a international classification so internationally accepted international internationally used so it is an international classification of medicine created by who so i already mentioned who world health organization created this dictionary that is who dd for international drug monitoring and this who dd is managed by upsala monitoring center okay so medra who gave ich who did who gave upsala monitoring center that is the drug monitoring center by who yes so this was all about medra and uh, uh, who did now i hope that through this video you got a clear cut idea on that there is no comparison these two are entirely different bodies and what all things we can code with this help of these coding dictionaries i hope this is clear to all of you now let me tell you these coding dictionaries are integrated inside the safety database where we open these dictionaries we code drugs and various other things uh, which we can code with the help of metra yes so that's all about what is metra and who dd and difference between these two and i hope now it is very 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 clear but still if you have any doubt please feel free to comment below in the comment section and i would like to read all the comment and answer you and if required i can make a video also yes so with this please stay safe healthy aware and updated and before i go please don't forget to subscribe to our channel don't forget to hit a like button if you like this video yes that's all for this video will be coming soon with some fresh next video have a nice day bye bye all of you